this is of course Halloween. Now, Tiggy has very kindly shown us just what you can do for Halloween with no more and no less than a black sack. So first of all, can we see our witch and our Dracula, please? Now, Tiggy, we just have the two of them here and basically you've made these two outfits with just a sack that you cut out like this. Yeah, it just has a small piece cut out of the side mm -hmm. so to, to make a collar and then... This one you just string through here for the witch and turn That's it That's right, back. and then yeah. pull the strings and that tightens it up at the collar. And then for Dracula? For Dracula, you use the same shape, but you cut the top collar off and then you stiffen that with a piece of card. Yes, and then he's here. Now, of course, the rest of the witch, it's just a fairly obvious witch's hat and you've got wool Black for... Black wool, yeah. yeah. And this is just a, um, an old broom or, or a branch with... This is a dandelion, dead dandelion. Black string. underneath and stars on the cape. Yeah. Now. Dracula, of course, the key here is the makeup. I believe you can actually use ordinary paints so long as you make sure they're non-toxic and will wash off. But otherwise, right. face paints? Yeah, face paints are very good and they wa wash off easily and they're bright colours. OK, what about the bat? You two back behind us there, please. Thanks very much. Let me see the bat very quickly. Again, I mean, this is a marvellous bat. Stretch just flap your wings there and let's see you. And this, again, is made just with a just black with sack. A black just sack. explain that. Um, these are two small pieces of dowel which have been just sellotaped on. Quite mm -hmm. simple, only takes a couple of minutes. And this is the bag out lengthways That's and right. cut into bat wing shape. The hat? That's a pair of ladies' stockings, woolen stockings, just the foot part cut off foot, and yeah. two little felt ears sewn on. Isn't he wonderful? And the black face. And there you go. Let me see the pussycat, please. <laughs> Back onto the sofa there. Thanks very much. Now, pussycat. Um, right, we have two little socks to make pores on the, the hands. Yes. And a leg of a stocking again for the tail, the tail and yeah, the and foot the of the stocking for the hat. And our ghost. That's marvellous. It's so simple and yet it really works and that's it all they want. It only takes about half an hour to make the whole costume. Of course, the key is you don't even have to buy the mask here either. No, now, a don't. ghost, does it ruin your sheet? No, you can actually use the sheet again. If you just cut a, a small cross in the middle, Frightness. you can sew it up again afterwards. Yes. And this is just a sheet taken, uh, folded and sewn down either side. And then the hat This here. is just a rectangle of white material folded and sewn along the top and a little bit of string put in the top, little hem for the string. Now, of course, if you want to be really, really brave, you can go further than just dressing children up. Thanks, Mark. Back you go for Halloween and you can actually play the traditional Halloween games. We've got Snap Apple, we've got Dunking. But here we have a game that you invented yourself and which you reckon goes for all sorts of parties, not just a Halloween parties. Yeah, it's suitable for all age groups because the old, it's particularly suitable for older children. They really enjoy it. And for younger children, they, they don't have to wear the mask. So this child now is trying to yeah, sneak that's out right. a, um, a sweet. Sive is trying to steal some sweets off the tray without Lindsay oh, hitting her with the you're bat. Out, Sive, and if she's go. hit with the bat, she has to go back. The next child has a